Hello, Sandra Lemming here with a couple of tips on Facebook business pages or as they used to be called Facebook fan pages. Now Facebook pages have changed a lot over the years um, that I've been running Facebook pages on Facebook. Um, so I just want to give you some tips whether you're new or whether you're not um, these tips may come in handy for you they're about Facebook business pages now there's a difference between a Facebook profile and a Facebook page as you can see on a Facebook page there's nothing here that says friends you don't add friends to a Facebook page so if you have a Facebook page um, you'll need to be on your Facebook page to to make the changes now to create a Facebook business page or a Facebook fan page you first need to set up a Facebook account now this Facebook account will give you a Facebook profile page now that profile page is the one that you add friends on you can't do business on a profile page it's, well you can but it's not advisable it can get your account shut down it also reduces the um, ability you have as far as reach goes um, reaching new people because the only people who will see the business on your Facebook profile page are those people that you've added as a friend and there are limits as to how many friends Friends you can have on each Facebook profile so if you want to do business on Facebook and you want to do paid advertising you'll want a Facebook business page or a Facebook fan page as it's called now if you're a first-time user of Facebook and you've created a, an account and then you've set up a Facebook page and you're not sure about the Facebook page whether it's set up right or whether you're having some issues or you haven't even set one up yet um, I'll share this link um, with you and I'll leave it on screen so you can see this link up here and I, it'll, it'll, I'll give you time to um, you know while I'm talking about this page to copy that link down write it down whatever um, Facebook have a fantastic resource called Facebook business now this resource um, has so many things in it okay there's so much training here there's you know marketing talks about marketing your goals and how to generate leads and things like that uh, pages and how to get started adverts and things like that there's so many things you can do it you know you can create an advert from here you can create a page from here there's so many things on this um, this section here you've got industries you've got inspiration if you need some inspiration and you've got the latest news news from Facebook about uh, that is re relative to Facebook businesses so if you're wanting to start a Facebook business page or Facebook fan page and you're not sure about it I suggest you come to this link here um, and I'll also put it in the description at the bottom um, of this video on YouTube come to market come to this uh, link here come to marketing on Facebook scroll over there and go to pages and click on get started and go from there if you click on here um, it will take you to getting started with pages scroll down um, you know click on different links if you want get you know these are the dimensions for your Facebook profile page and your cover photo so when you're doing a page this will give you the sizes for this photo here and this photo here okay um, so that's you know that's my suggestion is use the Facebook resources um, you know you can click through as you can see you can change around um, you know but if you're into pages you know get started with pages setting up your page you can have a look click through all of these and have a look scroll down create a page read what you need to do gives you some tips here learn about your image and dimensions um, and, and just take your time to read through these do all of these and learn how to do um, you know how to set up your pages properly and of course there's you know other help down here there's an e-learning course you can do there's an advertising center you can go to to learn you know what landing pages you can use on your Facebook when you're doing ads and all that sort of stuff so many things here and if you're liking this resource from Facebook so they update this resource and expand on it and make it even better come down here and let them know how helpful it was you know give them a like um, just like that you know and if they are if you've got some suggestions for them put them down here um, and then submit it okay so that's one thing you can do with uh, to learn how to build a Facebook page or how to edit your Facebook page because it's all in there on here you know if you have a look at this here you've got getting started setting up your page 
setting up your page will go through things managing your Facebook page promote your Facebook page create and boost Facebook posts uh, messaging on your page page insights it'll go over how to understand your page insights so you can see how your page is working every day and once you've got your page set up um, it might look a bit like this and you might not be understanding things and you might want a friend who you know you might have a friend or you might have a business colleague or somebody that you work with that you trust um, who can help you out with your page so you can add admins on your page so to do that you're going to settings and I'm just going to close this off and you come down to page roles and you click on page roles and in here you can assign a page role to someone so you can add someone um, to your page who can help you with your page now say I wanted to say I, this is the first time I've ever had a page and I didn't quite know what I was doing and it's part of a, a you know business that I'm trying to build and I'm working with a community of like-minded business people who are trying to help me out I would befriend one of those people who are really good with using Facebook and then I would add them here on the page um, um, as a as a page you know give them a page role you've got things like editors and this tells you what each page role can do now say I wanted you know a real lot of help from them and I wanted them to adjust things for me and different things like that so as you can see they can just be a contributor an analyst an advertiser a moderator and you can use all these page roles really effectively to build engagement and business on your page so if you start building a page and you have some people who are really engaging on your page you might want to add them as a live contributor so that then they, they can add posts to your page um, if you don't like the content that they're advertising you can always take them off of that role and put them back to just a normal fan but if you need a real lot of help if you really need help with your page um, you can reach out to someone you can put a page admin and it tells you here if you're adding a new page admin to your page please keep in mind that they'll have the same permission um, as you do um, to make changes on your page okay now let's say I wanted to add somebody in here now if you're friends with someone on Facebook that can take up this role I check with them first make sure you're comfortable make sure you can trust them and then go ahead and, and add them now I already know someone that I can add as a page admin on this page who will not um, hurt or affect my page okay so what I do now is I've added her when I send this ad that will give her permission to run my page so if I was say to um, I don't know end up in hospital for an operation and couldn't get on a computer she would have permission to run this page for me right through to even doing advertising setting up ads and things on my page okay and I trust her wholeheartedly to do that for me so I'm going to add her this is going to send her an email uh, it'll ask you for um, your security password so you'll need to re-enter that I better add the right one not an old one I change my passwords on Facebook um, quite regularly so Think that's the right one a lot of the times I have problems entering the wrong password okay so that's been sent out now and I know that because she's been added here so she'll get a message to say that you know I've asked her to be a page admin on this page for me this business page and she can accept that okay now how I got to this business page let me go back to my page from my profile when I logged in I was on my profile page okay I was on my profile home page so I was on the home section of my account how I got to my business page was I clicked in this little arrow here I clicked down and I chose the page I have more than one page so it will look a little bit different when you click in that little arrow I have several pages I'm also an admin on other people's pages I'm an editor on some pages I'm an analyst on some pages so I help other people with their Facebook pages so I have quite a lot of pages to choose from here um, so if that'll you know that'll look different for you they'll probably just be the one page 
you can name your page whatever you want okay now let's get back in see there's this edits you want to do um, you'll go back into your settings and you can make some edits in here so go through and read these very carefully and understand what they mean um, and you can edit these from here as you see you can click on the edit and change messaging so you can stop people from private messaging you or you can turn it on there are different things you can do you can turn tagging on and off so go through those very slowly read what they are about and if you're not sure about it um, turn it off um, you know but you know but most of these should be turned on except for certain things okay all right um, now you can go through all of these um, or you can go to edit page if you want to make some specific changes like there's different edits you can click on these different sub titles all through here and make edits in that specific section like just recent just previously we were on page roles if I wanted to run Instagram ads I would come into my page settings and I would come down to Instagram ads okay um, if I wanted to do cross posting um, you know diff different things here I can do so I'm going to also go to edit page because you can edit your page directly from in here okay now here in the edit page uh, you can choose templates now I've put this on the standard template so you could see it which you did uh, you did see the page in the standard template uh, standard templates um, and I'm going to click on edit here okay and it's going to show me so that was my standard template remember my profile was there my banner was there and things were over here now you know you can view the details of that um, you just click on view details and it'll tell you what this page does tabs where the tabs are located what tabs you can have um, you know and that sort of stuff when you apply this template we will replace your existing buttons and tabs so you know things get changed around when you choose this template okay um, and if you want to choose a different another template you can simply go to back and we can scroll down and we've got different templates here so if you're like an affiliate and you're doing Amazon products on Facebook um, well then you might go to a shopping page or if you're a product business you might choose a shopping page and go with a shopping page and you can view the details there if you're a business um, say you're an accountant or a lawyer or a doctor or a marketer or you know you do courses or training or coaching you're an educator a teacher um, whatever you might want to go with the business thing you can read the details there um, venues just here if you're a politician you know you might want to have a look at that page there services if you're offering services um, you know you might want to go with this page here um, and restaurants and cafes they have their own page as well um, you know so just view um, say you know services you might want to view services so you'll view the details on this page um, you know designed to help people find your services and get in touch Yeah, primary button, call now, um, buttons on the toolbar, tabs. This is what the page will basically look like there. You know, and what I'm going to do is because I'm on a standard template, I'm going to choose this template just to have a look at what the difference is. And I'm going to click OK. Okay, so I'm on a services template now. I've gone from a standard to a services, and what I want to do is I want to go back to my page to have a look and see what the differences are. So I'm back on my page. Going to refresh it. There you go um, now it's asking me to add a button um, you know so it's taken away the button that I already had but it's asking me to add a button that's okay I can add the button um, yeah I've got email sign up here I've got promote down here I've got a couple of extra tabs that I didn't have before 
which is all pretty cool. You know, I've got offers, I've got shop, um, you know, this is really, really cool. Um, if I want to, you know, if I want to go to one of these. Now, say I don't like that template, I'll go back to settings. And I'll go back to edit page. And I'll go back to here. Okay, and I don't particularly like that. So, you know, I... I, I mean, I had it on standard, but I mean, it, it's cool. I mean, if you've got a shop and you're selling things and all that sort of stuff, that might work well for you. Um, yeah, there's a shopping page there. Let's have a look at the business, shall we? Let's have a look at the business um, template as well. Okay, it's looking like that. Um, buttons on toolbar, unlike, follow, message, share, um, tabs. Home posts, videos about about uh, likes, offers. So it's pretty similar to the standard one. So we'll apply the template plate there, and we'll click OK. Okay, there we go. So we've applied the business template. Um, you know, these are the other settings that I can adjust. Home, so you know, I can adjust the settings here. I can copy the URL. This is the URL that I would share with people so they can come to the um, home page of my site. I'll close that. Posts, I can um, check my post settings. There's my, there's my URL for my posts, so I can share that URL as well. I can copy that and share that with people. If I wanted to do videos, I can do that. If I want to do photos. So here, you know, I can do quite a lot of things. Settings here, I can put in... Um, show email sign up tabs, uh, share email sign up tab, you know, so I could copy that URL and I could share this email sign up sign up tab with people um, once I've uh, configured it and things like that, okay? And down here, you know, you can add, add a tab, okay? So I could click on here and if I had some customized, you know, customized tabs, I could add customized tabs from here. But I could add events, I could add notes, I could add services, I could add shops. So I could add any one of these tabs here if I wanted to, okay? So we're going to go back to the page and we're going to have a look at what the page, um, you know, what differences the page has. Not too many differences. We've still got add a button here and um, we've got some choices here. I can write a note. I can advertise my business. I can, you know, get messages and create events and, you know, do all sorts of things here, email signups and, and things like that. Okay. So, but, you know, just play around with it. It won't, it won't, um, won't hurt you to play around with it. Add a button. You just click on there. Follow the instructions to add a button, book a service, get in touch, learn more. Um, you know, and these buttons, you you know, you'll need you'll need a link. So if I wanted to put um, get in touch, um, you know, phone that'll need a phone number, contact us. You know, email I can put an email there, or if I have a sign up, I can put a uh, you know I can put a sign up form from my Aweber, my email autoresponder there, so people can sign up to a list on my email. Or they can just go to my contact page. I could add a contact page there if I wanted to do. I can add a website link to, you know, my contact page there. Um, there's all sorts of things you can do here. Okay, so just play around with it. Take your time um, and, and just read the instructions. If you're not too sure, then go into your settings, um, you know, and add somebody else to your page to help you out. Give them a page role. If you want them to help you with the whole page, add them as a page administrator like I have done, down, done, done here, um, you know, and, and then have a look at people and other pages. Go back to your settings. Edit your page. You know, go through here, um, you know, use default tabs on or off, you know, select tabs. Um, you know, there's so many things you can do with your page. You've just got to take your time, 
um, scroll through them. I'm going to go back to standard and I'm going to select that. Add apply template. Okay. And then just have fun with it. Just start, um, you know, just go to your, your page and, um, and have fun with it. Start adding posts to your page. Start following other people on Facebook. Get to know your page. Use your page. Um, you know, create engagement if you post something on your page. Um, then create engagement if somebody replies, you know, if somebody puts a, a comment under your post like here, you know, a friend of mine picked up that when I'd actually made this post here, I had put um, spot, um, book your spot not. And she had picked up on that for me and let me know, which I thought was funny. And I responded back and I thanked her, um, you know, for letting me know that. So, you know, there's so many things you can do um, with your page. And once you've got your page created, then you can go to your own home tab and, you know, your pages that you're following, um, your other pages around Facebook that you're following from your own personal profile. So here you're back on your personal profile. This is your personal profile. And I can scroll through here and I can find a page um, if I want, or I can go up here and find a page. So I can open this up here and I can see some posts here from people. I can find a page if I want. I can scroll through and any pages that I'm following, their posts will show up here. Okay, here's Stuart's, Stuart Ross's page, okay. So, you know, um, I can go to Stuart Ross here. This is a page. Remember, this is a fan page that I'm going to. It's not an account. Oh, I think it's a fan page I'm going to. Okay, there you go. Yes, it's his fan page here. Okay, and this is the post that I clicked on. Now, you know, courage doesn't always roar. Sometimes courage is that quiet voice at the end of the day saying, I will try again tomorrow. You know, now you might really like that um, quote and you might really like that photo, but you want to like it as your page. Okay, before you click like, come over here and click on here and select it and choose one of the pages that you want to like it with. Okay, so I might want to like it with this page here because um, it's a business page that I have uh, in conjunction with a friend um, that is associated with, you know, the Stuart Rossi area, and I might click like on this. Or if I wanted to, I can change that, and I can click love. Uh, I can even leave, you know, a comment here. You know, if I want, I can write a comment, or I can click in here. I don't know if you have emojis, but I have emojis. Okay, just put that there. going to take a little bit to load my Facebook is a little bit slow today well my internet sorry is a bit slow today not my Facebook my internet so I'll click there okay and that's loaded now when um, Stuart Ross's other fans come to his page and see this and come and like it and go to make a comment they can also see my my page and if they like this and like this comment and go you know down under marketing now what's that all about they can scroll over down under marketing like this and this will open up which is you know the banners to the page and if they want they can visit that page simply by clicking on that there and what will happen is they'll go from Stuart Russell's page over to our fan page at Down Under Marketing and they can see what we're all about here. They can scroll through and they can check the posts and, you know, they can like um, you like the things that we've shared here. You know, like I can come here and I can be myself and I can, you know, I can like this if I want. Um, I can love it. Um, there you go. See, so, you know, I can comment as myself. I can comment as a page. See, I can go through all these pages and I can like it, you know, as a page. I can comment on, on it as a page. You know, I can put, you know, great article or, you know, great, um, you know, great thanks for this, anything, you know, and you can comment, you can put, you know, or you can use your emoticons again, you know, you can click here and you can go like this 
And there you go. So when people come to this page, because this is another page, obviously, that I <laughs> I run with people, um, you know, when they click on here, they can go to that page there, you know. Um, then go over and visit that page and see what that page is all about. So there you go. That's how you stay in the loop. That's how you keep the cycle running. That's how you manage a, a Facebook fan page. To get back to my page, I simply go here and open the drop down and I choose the page I want to go to here. Um, and you know, and I can start posting on my page if I want. I can do things on my page. Um, and if I want to go back to my profile, um, I can go back to either my profile page here and, you know, um, converse with my friends and family and talk about the things I love and the passion that I have about different things. Or I can just simply um, go to my home feed. So there's some little tips and hints on how you can use Facebook. There's many different ways you can set it up. Um, I will put the re resource that I showed you earlier on, Facebook Business. I will put that in the description box below this video on Facebook um, so you can find um, that resource and you can visit that resource and learn all you need to learn about how to use a Facebook page, how to run a Facebook page effectively and how to start creating um paid advertising to that page if that's the way that you want to go okay well i'm going to sign off now i've been on here for 25 minutes this is a long video i hope this really helps you this walk through and uh and have a great weekend wherever you are in the world um, have fun be safe and uh and spread the love bye for now